Do you know why sine squared plus cosine squared equals one? Yeah, isn't that just like a rule in maths? You can't just blindly follow rules, mate. Think of the unit circle. That's where sine and cos actually come from, remember? I don't remember it that well, though. It's easy. Pick any angle. Wherever you land on the circle, the sine of that angle would be this vertical distance. And the cosine would be this horizontal distance. Now notice, these are also the x and y coordinates. Oh yeah, but what if the angle is more than 90? Does it still work? Of course it does. And the whole point of the unit circle, the radius is always one. Right, Glow? Yes, Shell. Yo, guys, this diagram keeps looking like it has a right angle triangle in it. Good observation, buddy. So guess which Greek fella's rule works here? Oh, Pythagoras! Oh, bingo. So this i squared plus this i squared equals the radius squared. And since the radius is always one? Yo, one squared is one. There you go. That's why in trigonometry, sine squared plus cos squared always equals one. Boom shakalaka. 